Okay, so someone sent this to me, and um, I'm going to explain it. It's called Dooming the Bar, City 17. It's Chief Smokey made this. I've recently completed a mod in GZ Doom Engine, which might be to your interests. Um, it's effectively Half-Life 2 beta in Doom. So I was instantly pretty interested. And um, so, yeah, it was remade in Doom, and it's based on the Raising the Bar art book. That's what the name is like this for. And, uh, yeah. So... That's pretty much it. You should also make sure to enable dynamic lights in the menu. Okay, so uh, two things. I need to enable Doom 2, which I did, and dynamic lights. Maybe Chief Smokey didn't make this. Maybe they say they completed it as in they finished it and they wanted to send it my way. Sector light mode dark. That's correct. And dynamic lights. So I don't see the dynamic lights option, but there is an option search. Dynamic lights on. Okay, so, um, I'm already pretty impressed because, sorry, I just need to tab out for a second. This does not look like Doom. Well, now it does a little bit, but still. From what I understand, there was, like, a 2001 version of Half-Life 2. And this is, like, based on that, like a super early form. Vinny, there's an audio delay again. Really? <clears throat> well, there's no specific actions I can... It's like a full second. Okay. So yeah, I didn't fix the problem. It turns out uh, we just are going to have to live with audio delay from now on. Almost certain it's driver issues. Yeah, it, it seems like it could be. Um, if anyone knows how to fix this or has had a similar issue with OBS, please let me know. Well, I just fixed it now, so... It's different for every game. So I just have to find out, and if I am not live, then no one can tell me. But, uh... It's a shame that really takes me out of the stream whenever that happens. Like, instantly demoralizes me. <clears throat> Which is a shame because this is actually really cool. And, um... Don't expect too much out of this, except... Just like kind of an ambient exploration of City 17 based on the original beta of Half-Life 2. And why Doom was chosen, I don't know, but it actually works w weirdly well.
Some of the stuff people are able to do with GZ Doom is just unbelievable. What the fuck are these things? See, I don't know too much about this particular, like, early Half-Life version. So, some of this stuff I have just never seen. Cremator. Or if I've seen it, there's a very good chance I've seen it in one of the beta things I played early on. But I'm not as well versed, and I don't remember a lot of things, so... Combine soldier. Dude just lives behind a dumpster. Vend. Projects like this are why I'm hoping that someone eventually goes into Duke Nukem Forever's 2001 build and finds a way to finish it with their own interpretation. I know it really can't ever be what it was supposed to be. But I think there's a lot of interesting stuff there that could maybe be strung together into a loose game. skeleton dude in there. There's already a team doing it, but they're extremely mismanaged. Oh. Early look at the Citadel, maybe? Like a Citadel-type environment? Pretty fucking weird sounds. I mean, the setting of City 17 is, is so fucking cool. But this version is even a little bit, like, darker than what ended up being the final Half-Life 2, and then Half-Life Alex also kind of followed along that mold. So this this just is is more bleak and depressing than what we ended up getting. Morb. More bleak. Morbius leak. <laughs> I can't open that door back up again. This isn't the town square from the beginning of Half-Life 2, is it like the train station? Maybe it is. Welcome to the town square with me. 
appreciates the comforts of City 17. Yeah, this does seem kind of like... Yeah, I think this is the train station area. <laughs> Fuck is that noise? Oh, I don't like that noise. That reminds me of the Chrono Trigger noise when Lara gets sucked into the machine and it's just like a fucking 16-bit scream. It scared the shit out of me as a kid. That was a very, like, harrowing sound. Yeah, Terra's scream was pretty... Pretty fucked as well. Um, yeah. I do wonder if this audio problem could be drivers. I'm gonna try uninstalling and reinstalling, but, uh, or updating. But it's still a weird issue that I did not have previously, so I don't know. If, again, if anyone has any experience with this kind of thing, please get in touch. Vinesauce.email or leave a comment on this video when it becomes a video. Mm. It's, you can see where... I mean, I know this is artistic interpretation of the Half-Life 2 beta, but... There is some, like, thread between what we got in Half-Life 2 and this. Like, you can see where the, the, maybe the apartment buildings, like, being connected into the chase scene would occur. Man, GZ Doom is amazing. Seriously. Like, this is just not <laughs> at all what you think of when you think Doom. gobs of rain piss. It's a cool effect. Keeping gobs of rain piss. What do you think they're doing in there? What, what do you think they talk about in there? They just wait for their eventual, like, piss death. <laughs> when I play a game like Half-Life 2, or when I go through this and I think about what this world is, it kind of makes me happy that life isn't as bad as this. Like, fiction like that could kind of sometimes make you appreciate, yeah, shit's fucked. And we hope it doesn't get worse. But also, it's not as fucked as this. I see we have a lot of optimists in chat that are just like, for now.
I try to be as optimistic as possible, but I understand why cynicism would rear its ugly head. It just, it seems, sometimes it just seems so fucked. Things just seem like they get worse and... and things that need some kind of solution just don't get it. But, you know, I like to try to count my blessings, and I don't mean that in the religious sense necessarily, but, like, fuck. This is a nightmare. Like, th this just whole thing is just really effective at making me feel lucky to be alive here on Earth 1, and not, like, Earth 2. This whole mood matches, really matches Deus Ex. It's the second time that's come up today on the stream. No, I don't really see the Blade Runner connection. A little bit, but... The rain and the oppressive buildings and the, like, kind of dirtiness, yes, but Blade Runner is much more like city, neon lights, advertisements everywhere. There's, like, a noir feel. So this gets, like, probably halfway to Blade Runner in my estimation, not quite all the way. It's missing the heavy synth music, yeah. I'm holding shift to lower my walk speed a little bit because I want to take this in without, like, running around everywhere if I don't have to. So, can anyone explain a little bit, like, how did... How do we get to know this? Is this just from the book, Raising the Bar? How do we get to know what this vision of City 17 was going to be? Was it the... Now, book plus leak. Now, I played a bunch of that. But it was extremely, extremely disparate and incomplete. Did I play that version, like that early of a version? I don't remember, chat. I'm sorry, it's been it's been a while. I did. The leaks you played had this aesthetic. I remember like I'd probably have to rewatch the stream I did of it, but I remember a bunch of it. I just don't remember all of it. I remember some of the maps being big, open... ...maps with- there's this vibe of like, yeah, oppressiveness even more so than usual. Like, than what we got in Half-Life 2. But, yeah. I- I don't remember the full thing. I've played too many things. And at the moment, all I'm thinking about is Duke Nukem pissing from his mouth, so... I don't know if you've played Missing Information, but it's a mod that tries to recreate some of the beta stuff. I haven't- I don't think I've played that. Well, there's two Duke Nukem Forever videos that I've done now. The second one is much more thorough. However, the second one doesn't have hidden gray lenos, so... Where the fuck am I going? That's how I got to this area, so... Is this open? No. So... <clears throat> Vinny, there's an elevator at the end. Okay, let me take a look. Mm. Mm. 
That's an elevator? That's an elevator. Did you see the video about Half-Life Ravenholm? I think it was Arcane Studios that made it. And it didn't get too far, but... There was a video showing, um, what they had completed. The interviewer... Got a chance to play it. I forgot what channel that was on. But, uh, yeah. It looked okay. No clip. Yeah, no clip did it. So, that dude got a chance to play it, and... It was in a very early form and didn't look as, like, complete... ...as maybe one would think, but... ...looked cool to me. I would have played it. But if Valve was like, hey, this doesn't match our level of quality... ...you have a choice. Like, you can be like Nintendo and just be very, like... ...over the shoulder of the developers, or you can just... ...you know, abandon the project altogether, and that's what they chose. Mm. So, I don't actually know. Maybe we go down this way? No, we just die. We just die. Fox die. Thought it was a budget thing. I'm not sure. I mean, I re remember I watched it, but I don't know the exact reason why it was cancelled. But I also think it's kind of great that we haven't had an overabundance of Half-Life content. What I mean by that is to the point where it's just like oversaturated, over flooded. It's not like every year we're getting a new Half-Life by three different developers. And sometimes one's good and sometimes one's not, but boy, it never matches up to the original two. Like there's pretty much three Half-Life games and some episodes that are cool, but... They're special. And Half-Life Alex actually delivered, which was kind of a shock. Huh, remember that. I mean, I think it's okay not to constantly release something for a series. It's okay to let a series lie dormant for a little bit. And, um... When you have something interesting to say with the series or some story that's good... Sure. Uh, anyone know what, where to go next if anyone's played this? Because I don't want to die again. But Vinny, what about F-Zero? Go to controls and bind a crouch button. I thought there was specifically not a crouch button. Huh. It's like, well, there's no crouch button, so you can't crouch. You have to crouch. For fuck's sake. Is that big crab?
It's a cut enemy you see walking around the citadel. Yeah, this is really cool. Like, I know it's just a walking tour, but I like it. Guess this is your trash. I don't know. Sorry, I don't want to impede... Impinge. I don't want to incringe upon your trash. Have you checked out Total Chaos? That's another Doom mod. I haven't. There are... I've done a lot of Doom stuff, but there is so much. There is so much. I'd be open to doing another Get in Doom with it. If there's any particularly interesting ones people want me to see. Again, I'm always open to different packs that people compile. Especially if it's something I haven't seen before. And if you have some... Some Doom-related stuff that is interesting, please let me know. But... You could become a streamer that only plays Doom mods. And you'd have enough content... For a full career. Oh yeah, Orc Massage. Hey, Vinny, I got you this key for Orc Massage. I don't know. You don't have to play it or anything. I just had the key. It was just sitting there, so, you know, here it is. Nice escalator. Love that noise. So what is happening in this cool place? Processing? No, it's just an arcade. Manhack arcade. Really though, what is that? Is that something from the book? Man hacks were controlled by people who thought it was a game. Oh my god. <laughs> Again, there is a chance that I knew that at some point, but... That just is so fucking... This is so dark. <laughs> Wow, this game is really realistic. You did know that at one point. You even talked about it a few years ago. Yeah, just too much information to keep track of. Maybe I'll check out that Raising the Bar book. Is that another Citadel? That's nothing. There was originally child laborers in the original Half-Life 2. They worked a factory to make the cremators. Yeah, they, they definitely pulled things back a little bit. It still has a really cool dystopian vibe. Like, what we eventually got for Half-Life 2... ...to me was... ...probably a good balance between this shit and... ...like, video game. 
but they could totally go like this dark in current year, and I think people would probably be very interested. Like if they needed to do City 18, or an alternate dimension where certain things got even more fucked up, it's possible. I don't know, maybe they could go for some of the original concepts that they didn't use. I mean, navigating the environment in this is almost like a puzzle in and of itself. Nice oil graphics. Now, is this supposed to be Nova Prospect? I'm seeing some similarities, but I'm not sure. This is my secret sewer. This is my secret home. It's still in the city. Okay. Billy Fuckballs, come with me to the city. Lalo was here. He, he's waiting. He saw that cockroach, and he it reminded him of Saul Goodman. Hey, I'm not here to shit on anyone's parade or anything, but uh, you got room for one more? Just want to hear the story. Just want to watch a movie. Hey, you want to buy some penis enlargement pills? Who said that? Down here, in the sewer. That's right, I'm a clown now. I don't know how many maps there are. But there's like... There were three episodes in the beginning. I don't know if this is actually going through the episodes or if this is all one episode. But I find the indoor stuff to be less interesting than the outdoor stuff. Oh yeah, it is Kleiner's lab. Oh shit. Lamar! Where is that 
blasted head crab. Lamar, get down from there. I need the nubby wubby. Lamar, I have discovered a way to teleport foreskin onto my head. It's time for the nubby wubby. I'm assuming I can't get in there. Interesting to see early Kleiner Lab, even if recreation, pretty cool. I think you can get into the portal. Yeah, I could try, but is that the intended? thing to do. Let's see, we'll, we'll give it a shot. Kind of feels like there's an invisible wall. game engine is a little bit more unforgiving when it comes to platforming. Huh. The fuck? <laughs> the denizens of hell had used their black magic to warp Doomguy into the Half-Life 2 beta, hoping the forces of the beta combine would succeed where they had always failed and kill him once and for all. Realizing he was in the wrong game, Doomguy disguised himself as a gas mask citizen and navigated around Beta City 17 in search of a way out before he was trapped inside of Valve's repository forever. With the help of Beta Kleiner's trusty teleporter, Doomguy warped back to Mars and got back to work ripping and tearing the demon scum. Meanwhile, a train had just arrived at the terminal, carrying a certain theater theoretical physicist. want to see if we have in fact seen this get your free TVs um have I already done this I can't tell because they kind of blend into each other So, this I should be able to know because I just did it, and... Two of these big bastards. Don't remember that. You want me to go? Vin, load last auto save. Oh, here's the Manhack Arcade. Well, I guess the other one was one, too.
interesting noises. One of them's a laugh, it's just- <laughs> Pretty much all that one was, but all right. I mean, I can't imagine there having been too much more. I heard this was like maybe a half hour worth of stuff. So, is this the most recent? Yeah, this is the most recent. No, is this the most recent one? This is the. What? Um... Does anyone remember if this was the specific map that had Kleiner's Lab? Because if so, I'll play and try to not go into the portal. So then, we'll do that, and this time I won't go into the portal. And, uh, yep, here we are. And here is the outside of it. I guess this is where you run. It looks like the portal was the canonical end. So that's it. That's all there is. Really interesting experiment. Weird it was done in GZ Doom. But it ended up actually really working. And, uh... Just... Cool. I mean, it became its own little walking simulator for a half hour. So. Interesting. I might have to check out that Raising the Bar book, because now I want to know more about these manhack arcades and shit. Raising the Bar. Book. Book. Raising the Bar. Integrity and Passion in Life and Business, the story of Cliff, Barr, and Co. Huh? The book is $800 on Amazon. I'll just watch a video instead. All right, everybody, thank you for watching tonight's stream. Is that Cliff Main's son? That's how it works. They keep each other's first names. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much, everybody, for watching. And uh, I'll see you in a couple days with more things. And I really wished that I had fixed my audio issues, but it seems like they are here to stay. So again, if anyone has any ideas, please let me know. And um, see you around. If you'd like to watch some interesting things on my full sauce channel there there should be some uploads over the next couple days that i think uh some vr stuff that that's very interesting as well that might be fun okay now i go good night take care and watch other good streamers if you like if you'd enjoy that but i do appreciate it and you know always appreciate the subs i know i don't call them out appreciate the follows and the amount of people that watch it's always very flattering and cool Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the support. Goodbye now.